Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. I am going to discuss the one and only AMC stock. What is going on with the extremely high cost of borrowing and what does this imply for the future of AMC? I will also briefly explain what occurred on the market and discuss some very significant news that will influence AMC's performance and the market's movement. This video will be as concise as possible, as I have something else to say in a few moments. Before I continue, however, I would like to mention a few items. To begin with, I am not a financial planner. Ensure that you take none of this as financial advice. In addition, if you could hit the like icon if you want to see more videos like this, it would not only benefit me, but also the entire ape community. They were suffering from a stuffy nose and intermittent wheezing. It appears that I may have contracted the illness or a cold as a result. My symptoms are not particularly severe. I occasionally cough and have a slightly runny nose, but it's not been that terrible, and it's only been a few days. I didn't think it was that bad at first, particularly yesterday, but it's deteriorating slightly now. However, I should be all right. Nothing significant, right? I will be in complete good health. When it arrives, excuse me, apologies, folks. Regarding AMC, I will only briefly discuss all the information I intend to present. Keep this concise. Thus, the market reacts negatively to Bauman's extremely pessimistic remarks about inflation being too high. Then, at 10 o'clock am Eastern, the Michigan consumer sentiment data was released. Afterwards, we hear Bullard and Jefferson speaking. The markets are currently open, but they did decline significantly today. ANC is 4% lower. This is identical to what I've been telling you in the previous videos. However, there was one minor distinction. I mean, I did anticipate a significant decline in the markets, but at first I thought we might see a minor rally before the decline. And if you examine the extended hours that did occur, you will notice that they only occurred in the pre-market. Right. SPY actually reached a pre-market high of 414 by aggressively boosting the stock before it began to rapidly decline. At approximately 410, we are now very close to maximum pain or are very near to it. Regarding the debt ceiling debacle, consumer sentiment plummeted to a six-month low at 10 a.m. today, according to the data. Regarding the debt ceiling, this is absurd. I believe Biden and Kevin McCarthy were scheduled to meet not too long ago. They were supposed to convene to discuss this, but they ended up postponing it once more. Consequently, this was not the greatest news. And when it comes to the University of Michigan surveys, this is significant for consumer sentiment. Consumers are essentially losing confidence and are beginning to have less faith in the debt ceiling being cleared soon. It may take longer than anticipated. There is some concern about it, and this will impact the markets. The sentiment of consumers is being affected. In addition, consider the long-term inflationary outlook. They reached a 12-year peak, which is unfortunate. This indicates that individuals anticipate another increase in inflation. They await. This is also what Bauman had to say about it. Inflation is still too high, and we anticipate that interest rates will continue to be quite restrictive in the future. This was a more hawkish and bearish statement for the markets. In addition, as consumer sentiment declines, inflation expectations for the next 5 to 10 years have increased to 3.2% an increase of 0.2% from the previous forecast of 2.9%. The market has become more pessimistic due to the increase in yields. SPY is extremely similar to Max Payne. We will likely close around that time. However, there is some good news for AMC. The popcorn is selling out relatively rapidly. Moreover, the cost of borrowing is extremely exorbitant at 359%, I apologize, 357%. So it's a good thing that the maximum cost to borrow is high, but shorts are willing to take the risk and will still short AMC to oblivion. The volume is extremely low, so she is dropping on minimal volume, which is not an encouraging sign. We also received numerous bearish evaluations from Wedbush and numerous other analysts. And additionally, AMC is lawful. Short interest is not showing a significant increase, but it could be rising on dark pools and due to naked short selling, correct? Recent FEDs have increased. This will be discussed a bit later, but it provides additional information about AMC. About 200,000 shares are accessible for borrowing. In any case, 
all of these indicators point to a bearish outlook for the markets. However, here's what I see. Essentially, I will be extremely concise. I can see that, on a daily basis, the chargers are superior to any infiltrator that has not been invalidated. We have not yet filled the void up here. Could we rebound, attempt to close the margin, and then decline? It is possible, but its likelihood is diminishing. I do believe the market will rebound slightly and attempt to advance. As long as the price remains below 417, the head and shoulders pattern will remain valid, and we will continue to see a decline. So, could we attempt to stimulate once more before assessing the downside? It is conceivable, but I am not relying on it to fill the void at this time. The market continues to appear weaker and weaker. I believe we will attempt to return to 4 or 11 by Monday. However, after that, there is only a very tiny upward movement. Currently, we are at 410. Spilai has additional downside to cover this gap at 406, and we will likely fall below 400. I'm still keeping my promise. As anxieties begin to emerge, I foresee a great deal of impending harm, particularly due to the debt ceiling. The queue has fallen. It is beginning to fall. This rising wedge has been forming, and if it continues to break down, we will be monitoring the 321 level for support. Could it recover slightly? Yes, but it will presumably continue to decrease. Ank is approaching my objective. I've been predicting that she will get closer to $5. She is currently at 5.13. I anticipate that AMC will fall to 5 flat and begin trading sideways around here. If it continues to decline, the market will once again push AMC's price lower, but she will soon be testing 5. Tesla performed almost precisely as predicted. Nice compressor. It actually reached my goal of 178 before rejecting and dropping drastically. I wasn't positive if this downside move would occur until Monday. It has gained 1.65%. It is extremely intriguing. However, the bullish divergence is beginning to manifest as the VX begins to surge more. The same applies to the deviation. Okay then. So that concludes the contents of this video. I will provide additional information about other tickers and AMC in a later entry. To help preserve my voice, I'd like to keep this as brief as feasible, and I also need to rest my voice. I would suggest tomorrow. Therefore, I'll upload a video. I'll record it today while my voice is still able to do so. Then I am confident I will be alright. I'm. It's likely that I'll return by Sunday to record many more videos, so you shouldn't notice any changes to my current upload schedule. There should be a video for both tomorrow and Sunday. But until then, I appreciate your attention. I'll do my best. I wish the best for everyone and I am in good health. In passing. It's not that severe or I'm not really suffering. A minor cough and a slightly stuffy nostril are the only symptoms. Currently, I feel entirely fine. Thank you so very much. I appreciate every one of you. Don't forget about the merchandise below AMC to the moon because, despite the negatives, the super long-term outlook is still quite optimistic.